Rage on the star. Welcome. All right. Hey, you guys. So today is going to be a video that I should have done a long time ago. I'm just was being lazy. So here we are. This video is going to be a slick bun tutorial on short natural hair, actual short natural hair. Not here, not here, actual short natural hair. Basically, I'm going to just kind of show you the steps. It's really not that hard. It's just um, a repeating cycle. So I'm just going to show y'all that. So I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need. First, you're going to need hair ties, obviously. You're going to need this kind of brush or a brush to detangle with. This kind of comb. You need this kind of brush to slick it down with. And this is a hard bristle brush. They're not soft. They're actually kind of hard. So you're going to need something with a little pop pop to it, okay? Whatever kind of gel you use, I use this kind because I'm not really a fan of the other Eco Styler gels. I'm not, not a fan of the other ones, but the green always hits. You're going to need some kind of edge control. If you like baby hairs and stuff like that, you know, for these little things, yeah. Um, I like Edge Booster because it doesn't show like a um, white cast or anything. It's just, it's just nice. I like that one. This is your secret weapon. So you're going to need some kind of spray, some kind of hairspray. I, it don't matter what kind of hairspray because it all does the same thing. But you're going to need some kind of hairspray. I like to use this one because... I'm used to this one, so you're gonna need something like this. Let's just get right into it because I know y'all don't wanna hear me chit chat, so let's just do it. Okay, so as you can see, I have my hair sectioned in four. You don't have to do four, you can just do however many. It just depends on how thick your hair is. If you got a lot of hair, you might need to do four. Okay. <laughs> I only did four just to, you know, my hair was still wet, so. And I personally like to do this on like, dry hair because it just does better when you have like shorter hair because you do it on wet hair it just kind of like shrinks back up and then you kind of lose the um, thickness of the bun at the end so what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna part that section in half because we're gonna split this down in sections we're not gonna be um we're not gonna be doing no slicking all down at once that's that's what people be messing up at that's that's the problem you're gonna take your gel, gel, put it on. The top of my hair. And it really doesn't matter. The sections is not what matters. What matters is that you actually section it, if that makes sense. So me sectioning in this back part, see I have hair slipped here but I don't have any on this side it doesn't matter because at the end of the day it's all gonna get slicked down but it does matter that you actually do section it so now that I put the gel on I like to take my brush like this and just comb through it and you're gonna put it in a little small puff in the back and move on to the next section. So after that, I like to come up here and do a little something something. I'm gonna come up here and pull this out, this section on the side. So we're gonna put this one up here. You're really just gonna repeat the same process and it gets a little bit different when you get to the top, but I'll show y'all when I get to the top what I do. So you're gonna do the same thing, brush it out. It really be the man you gotta, ooh girl, you gotta get into. And you're gonna brush it down. So you're gonna take your bun, your little puff in the back down, and you're gonna add this hair into it. Okay, so y'all can watch me do the other side. I'm gonna speed it up. Okay. 
All right, so we at the top. And per uh, the top half is not mm, difficult, it's just more work because it's the part that everybody's gonna see. So I'm gonna split this into two parts because I'm gonna slip this part back here down before I get to parting and all that up here. So I'm gonna keep this back here out. Put this back up. Right, same process. Sometimes you gotta add a little love to these little pieces behind the ear because they have not grown in all the way. So I'm gonna put this in a little puff in the bag like we've been doing. You know, you know, you know. So now we get into the fun part, the parting. Now, if you want to do a side part, the process is the same. That's pretty short to be on this little camera here. So I'm gonna leave this here just like that so we'll, I comb this out first make sure your part is still there sweetie because you get the brush in and then your part be gone and you be sad so I'm gonna add actually let me just put this in because I got a feeling this is gonna go wrong with this part so let me just put her up put as much gel as you think you need to put I think there's never enough too much gel some people be like, don't put too much and this and that. I don't think there's ever too much because we gotta look to achieve and you do what you gotta do to achieve that look, sweetie. I'm gonna keep putting the gel, keep brushing it down. This hair kinda act funny sometimes because she sometimes don't wanna act like she's long enough to go in here, but she's, she's long enough to go sometimes. But if your hair is not long enough to go, I'm gonna show y'all what to do to put it, keep it, keep it down at least. Cause it may not fit in the ponytail, but we can keep it down. Slick, slick. And I don't like baby hairs. I think that's not my thing. Well, not for this look. I don't do baby hairs for this look cause I like the way it just looks slick, you know? I'll do one in the front, but I'm not, I'm not a baby hair all around your head type of girl. That's just not my cup of tea. I'm gonna put it all together, yay, put it all together. All these loose ends, everything, we put it all together. And I like mine low, but not too low because I feel like the lower it is, the smaller it looks. And we'll pull it out. This is your friend. This is your good Judy. And I, people don't like this, and I see why people don't like it, because you can't cake it up on too much. But I'm sorry, I just, what product can you cake on too much? I don't know why people be like, yeah, you can't use too much of it because it'll start to, uh, yeah. Sometimes when I first wash my hair, it doesn't like to get information. So I just use this Edge Booster. They have a gel too. I have never tried it, but you feel free to because I have heard nothing but good things. So now that I have this how I want it. So my hair back here, Come show up. We're just going to pin her down. I don't think this side is acting up too bad, but I'm going to pin it down anyway just because why not? You don't want to get out in public and she want to get the acting up. Now I'm going to do my little piece in the front and my piece on the side. Let me actually just pull those out now because... And if the hair just wants to act up, then you just put her back in her place. You are in control. So I'm gonna pull this side out. And sometimes this hair does come out. So I'm gonna put it back. It's that simple. It's, this is honestly the simplest hairstyle and that's why I'm always doing it because it's so easy. So I got these out on the side, the front. 
that little piece out right there. This, I, I love this little piece, but like, girl, she be doing a lot sometimes. She like to act brand new a lot. Okay, here we go. I guess, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not even gonna trip on it today, cause you know, we got a video to get through. I don't like to put too much gel, cause it don't take much, it's just a little piece of hair. So I'll take a little bit of gel, pull this out, then I'll take the edge booster to make sure it actually stays down. Cause the gel doesn't really, it doesn't really keep it down. And you still got hair that wanna act up, so then you just, all right. So you still should have a little puff in the back. If you have short hair, you can just kind of brush this out a little bit. I like to brush it out, you know, like the white girls do when they're trying to get a little volume. They be teasing it. That's what you're gonna kind of do, but you're not gonna be pushing it up and teasing it like that. You just gonna brush it out a little bit. All right, once you brush it out, you're gonna take another one of these. And you're gonna, this one's too loose, I don't like that. I don't like that, I don't like that. So you're gonna take it, and you're gonna put it over the bun. And since you brushed it out, it should be a little bit bigger than it normally is. I need another bobby pin because, here we go. Out here's in the back when I act up today, like girl, all decks. All right, so it should be a little bun in the back. A little something, something cute, something sweet. This is your six spray, eight to 12 inches away. I'm not gonna lie, I don't do that. Um, <laughs> If you have dry hair, probably put some oil or something, you know, in the part or whatever, before you, you know, before you start detangling your hair for this hairstyle, because this is kind of like a hairspray and it's very, it's supposed to, it's making your hair stiff. I can imagine there's a lot of alcohol in this, so. Yeah, put some oil in your hair so you don't be having a bunch of dry scalp issues. I don't want you coming at me like Mackenzie said, so put it in a, spray my hair with it now my, listen. <laughs> no, I didn't say that, I didn't say that. As you let it dry, I said just turn the fan on, put your scarf on, turn the fan on, you know, do something around your room, around the house, something. It'll dry. I got a little side view on accident. Okay. All right, so I think that's it. I hope I explained that good enough because I'm just so used to doing it. I'll just be doing it. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel. If you're old here, you better have subscribed to my channel. I mean that with love. You better have subscribed. Um, like this video. Comment under this video. Let me know what you want to see next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was straight to the point. I hope you got it. I hope you understood it. And I will see you guys next time.